three metal blades does not belong with a switch housing. But I like this a little more now that I've seen it in person. So um, it's on the high switch right now, so go ahead, Tommy, and uh, do some things. It's a very early one, you can tell by the plastic switch cap. Anything? 0.22. I would turn that bolt speed trim up a little bit. Things like that's in danger of stalling out. All right. Just make sure you hang on to all those washers because you need it when you take that white one. You think it could be our um, current at the house maybe fluctuating throughout the day? That can definitely be the case if you have it on really low speed. Absolutely. Even if you turn on like a light in another room, sometimes that's enough to do it. Oh yeah, the tents do that. Yeah. Yes, I have it set low for like one day, and then the next day it'll stall out. Yeah, that's why capacitors are less likely to do that. I don't know why, and I bet you Matthew was still here. He could explain why. Um, but that's why I uh, prefer capacitor-based controls. Point two eight. Point three seven. I don't know. I think it's rated for like point six, point five, something really. Is low. it reversible? No. Wouldn't need to be, but you know, sometimes they do it anyways. I like it more than I thought I would. I'm, again, I'm a purist. I don't think that metal blades and switch housing. I usually together. don't either, but I saw this for like 20 bucks at Eldrin and. Oh, Eldrin. I would not have passed it up if I had seen it for 20 bucks at a restore. I would not have passed it up at a restore for just about any price. But I know they're rare. It's just not something I would have, you know. When was this at Elgin? Months ago. Man, I never saw that there. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything this cool at Elgin. That's a that's high. Yeah. Yep, that's nice right. airflow, 0.66. Oh, you yeah. feel it? Metal oh, yeah. Easily. You want to go see how it compares, Tommy, with the yeah. airflow distance? Solid gust under it. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a solid gust right here. Easily. Metal Peak brought a whole fan to stand underneath it. Can't, uh, can't argue with being metal. Yeah, I like it a lot more than I thought oh, yeah. I would. Stuff. I probably would have. If I saw it at Elgin Restore, I would have bought it to resell, and then after I videoed it, I would have been like, never mind, I'm keeping it. Yeah, good airflow. Especially from back here, probably came from five, if not more. Yeah. Which is especially good for a 36 inch fan, even though it's an industrial. Yeah. I wonder how these were marketed. Yeah, I don't know. I was... They had to be residential. I just thought about it because. The uh, SMCs with the three metal blades, the SMC industrials have a little gold cap in the motor in the center. So like, yeah, so those, those were marketed ones? residentially, and they had no. a light option for them. So those are the the forty-eight inch version, like the one in the museum. Uh, light option is actually really cool. It's like one of those plastic globes that's open at the bottom and doesn't really have a fitter. Huh. It was very, very, very seventies. Yeah, bearings seem good. It's got a good spin down. Think so? Yeah. Huh. Those are aluminium blades, which means that they're not nearly as heavy as if they were steel, so you would expect it to spin, spin down rather quickly. You got it ready to go? Pretty much. I'm just going to get there. You're missing one screw, aren't you? Nope, I got them all. Oh, because there was that black one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The main reason I took it here is because, I don't know, it seemed more abrupt. It seemed like it had quite a bit of a resonant frequency. Resonant frequency? Yeah, like it would, like on several controls. I like think. Well, let's find out. I it start it started on on four, but it also seems those bearings are definitely a little rough. You can tell by when it stops. Like look at yeah. it. Like okay, so I stop it and they kind of bounce back. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell. So the bearings are definitely kind of rough. So I think I think they need to be replaced because I've oiled it. You know, tried to oil them yeah. forty. It's, they're still pretty quiet for being oiled over 40 I mean, I would leave it alone at this point because it still runs fine, you know? Yeah. They're not bad enough that they impede its running. <clears throat> I would just probably keep adding WD-40 and keep adding WD-40, you know? You had, how much WD-40 have you added? Half a can, maybe. I'm going to add a little more just because I can. Not... What are you doing? Oh, no, you have to stop it? No. No. Leave it running. I'm going to try both. Can't hurt. And then, because definitely, it's then, then it, it like siphons up into the. Okay. Is it still on? Yep. 5.28. I'm going to let it run a little bit with that hair. Let me get. No, you can do the control, actually. Just, yeah. Work it up and see what it does. 
Just run, just do the test trick like you normally would and let the WD-40 work in. I don't expect it to make that much of a difference. I only put in a little, but we'll see. Yeah, all right. 6.35. 7.5. Four two, eight point four nine, nine point five two, five six, ten point six two. Yeah, see, like no range of speed. No what? Like no range of speed. It's already. Yeah, you're ten. You're already pretty fast. Well, just like we were talking about earlier. The first thing I'd check then, if, if you feel like it should have a bigger range of speeds, is I'd check the capacitor. Because when, when, when a fan hits a resonant frequency really early, it can be indicative of a failing capacitor, just like Matthew was talking about earlier. Right. Yeah, what are we at now? It's 12. 13. Did it hit high? What was it? Both high? Okay, so we got a little ways to go. So you can use you can use it on a five, ten, fifteen, but you're not going to get a great range of speeds. Yeah. Well, um, you can do zero to high now that we put the uh, W forty in it. Yeah. I mean, again, if, if uh, you can definitely change the capacitor and see if it performs differently, but it seems to perform pretty good to me. Seven eight seven nine. Yeah. Five, four, three, one. Hit, turn it off. Here, uh, see where, it, see how it starts again. Like, start try three, four, and then five, and just see because I don't think I made any difference, but I want to see. See the solve out of four at all. Yep. It's five? Yep. Yeah, it didn't make any difference. I mean, you have to just keep adding a little W40, let it run, keep adding a little W40, let it run, keep adding a little W40, let it run. But honestly, yeah, it doesn't have a great range of speed. Like, this will get to. Okay, well, let's hurry up and get this Emerson up there because I know Metal Pete's got to go to work in the morning. Yeah. But uh, I'm glad we got to finally video this. Like I said, if you want to, um, here, let me move to the chair. If you want to, um, if, you're, if range of speed is your issue, um, I'd love to use this, but I mean, now they have that Evergo, I don't know if I'd even use Erlat Airmaster if I can get it working. Where would you put it? Probably in the garage. In addition to the tats or instead of them? No, I have another spot in the back that I could use them. I'd see the tats are white, so I'd rather have a white fan. Yeah. So the Leslie Lock goes much better. So, well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out because it, it runs pretty good for an SMC, in my opinion. So, thanks for watching. Blah, blah, blah.